I like this groove. I like this groove. Hey, 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 everybody. How you doing? I'm JV, and welcome to another edition of this, <laughs> this comic book worth a dollar. This is the show where we decide what's going to be in tomorrow's pop-up shop show. And the community helps me. You know, I, I don't read a lot of these titles. A lot of this stuff is just collected through mystery box buys that I get, and boy, do I got a lot of mystery boxes. And uh, these are the titles I don't read. I'm going to go ahead and Give them back out, kind of, to the community in a great in a great bargain, hopefully. And uh, this is the show where my esteemed panel, right here, I've got Mister Big Will, who had a great couple streams already today. Right, you you're on fire. You're dropping content, a lot of content. I love it. If you guys did not see earlier, he did his recap uh, of the journey, the 2020 journey that Big Will is making. Where you know he's going to test his skills, he's going to test his shopping skills out on the wild, and then put those books up, you know, for auction to the community and see if he can make money at it. At it, and so far he's two for two. He's he's making money. Congratulations, Big Will. If you haven't checked that out, I should drop a link. Where's where's Z? Is he in the chat? He can drop me a link in there. <laughs> I'm not who's I'm not sure who's in the chat, but we got eight people here. Thank you for joining us live. So um, we've also got. Right below me, Metaphorical, who's doing a lot of new things. Thank you for joining me, sir. And then down in the corner, where's he? In this corner, over there, wherever, we've got my man, Biggie Shack. Thank you guys all for joining me today. How's the music? You down with the music? Is it all right? We're cool? Kind of sounds like Tekken 2. Little, little something. It's called Nobody Calls It San Fran, which is true. Nobody does call it San Fran. No, real quick, I'm going to hit the chat because I had a uh, CFAP who was here early and says, hello, good people, and Perry Comics. Let's give him a shout back. My man, BB, hey, we're communicating, and that's what it's all about. When you register, it's about communication. And thank you uh, so much, BB, for uh, communicating with me. And I uh, look forward to sending your books out here pretty soon. Let me get this other music in because we've got some other tunes for the rest of the show. We'd like to turn it down. And uh, who else we got in the chat? We got Mr. Comics 89. Hey, thanks for stopping in. Patrick, go ahead. Someone, one of you guys has got to give me what, how many different names we got here now. That's Patrick Roadhouse Keller. Roadhouse. We're going Roadhouse. <laughs> Sway. Sway. I'm going to make it stick. Two Gun Pedro's here. Pew, 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 pew. Thanks for stopping in. And let's get started by. Uh, there we go. There's a little there's a little link in the chat. Hey Kavi, thanks for stopping in. Comic Books NYC, Tom's Comic Book Reviews. Well, let's get started, guys. So uh I got a stack of books. I've got some books that didn't make cut that I thought maybe maybe we might slab or maybe I won't. And what I want to do is I want to talk about a new category I want to introduce. So you know we've got our one dollar, three dollar, or one dollar, two dollar, three dollar, five dollar, ten dollar, and fifteen dollar little bins here that we're going to sort into we're going to sort you know uh, probably about a short box and a half of stuff and there's there's that that it's more than 20 or jb you should go ahead and throw this on an auction or man this would be a great waffle prize <laughs> for the saturday community comic book pop-up shop marathon that you're going to be hosting on saturday I'm just throwing that out there because since I won't be selling anything on Saturday and I will be hosting this event this Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific, uh, 12 p.m. Eastern, an all-day affair for anybody who's interested in selling. And I've already got a couple of confirmed sellers and it's a great event. We just provide the platform for the community to sell some books via whatever method they want, really. You know, we've been using the pop-up shop. It seems to be a pretty quick method. And... Um, and I won't be selling, but I will be, you know, waffling a couple of different books. So you can help me decide if there's any of these that you think would be good waffle-worthy books. So let's get right to it and swap the camera over here because we've got a different camera for the show. And uh, okay, let's see if that worked. There we go. We'll go ahead and... And if anyone's oh. unsure what he means by waffle, imagine a P with a walking cane as the first letter. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, you know extra what? Extra syrup, extra sugar. 
extra of everything. So let's get started with, so some of these books were things that I was thinking about slabbing and then come to find out they weren't what I exactly thought they were, but it's still a pretty nice book and it may, it may serve as well. So this one is Adventures of Superman number 463 and it's, I was, I mean, this was, I was about to get it slabbed, but come to find out that this is a reprint of the story, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's probably about a redo of book. the cover. You can tell because Mr. Mixus Pitalik is on there and then the price and the DC symbol. So I, I think you could get maybe $5 out of it. Well, what do you guys think? I mean, uh, this is the beauty of this. I'm thinking community. nostalgia gives you there 10 is bucks. So much, there is so much knowledge in the comic book community. That's why the beauty of this show. So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking five, too. I'm thinking this is a five to ten dollar book. We're gonna, I want deals, remember, guys? We're trying to give some deals. That'll be a nice, some nice claim and a five dollar claim. What else have we got here? Um, Hmm, I don't know why this is in here. Oh, no, wait a minute. I was, I was holding the Sons of Anarchy for somebody. That goes over here. That goes for somebody else there. Um, what about some Donny Cates Baby Teeth, number 15? Donny Cates Baby Teeth, number 15. Dollar. Perry said $50 sold. Perry, $50. Three bucks. I'm, uh, I'll go ahead and send that to the, to the PayPal below, and I will go ahead and ship you that book, uh, Mr. Perry. What you said, a dollar, two bucks, three bucks? Three bucks, two bucks, two bucks is better. Yeah. You went for a dollar for the. I mean, the... Donny Cates, early Donny Cates. Will, what do you I mean, dude? Somebody, it what is, are you talking about, brother? It is gorgeous copy too, man. We're gonna go two dollars, and, and if it doesn't go, we'll, we'll move it down the next dollar. round. All right, what about this Guardians of the Galaxy first issue? What is that? What am I doing? Dollar, dollar. It's a couple bucks. A couple bucks, dollar, two dollars. Dude, what is wrong with you, Will, dude? Why are you in a funk, brother? <laughs> I mean, he says, I mean, you know, one dollar, <laughs> Mr. Comics guy. Ah, it's it's, it's a good. number one. Oh, I'm tripping. All right, whatever. No, it's all right. No, I think I agree on the number ones. Tell me if there's anything important about this book. It's that uh, Batman Justice is a nice book. DC Justice number two. That that is probably a ten dollar book. That's an hour, yeah, dude. Batman. Yeah. Yeah, that's $10 five plus, five plus. I agree. If, if you find the Shazam of that, yeah, uh, it gets like a over a hundred dollar book. See, Bake saying uh, Guardians is a key. You're telling me, and I, that sometimes this is another thing I love to love about this show is we just throw that down here, right here, and we'll just le let let maybe the chat yeah, marinate on some, something like that. Now, hey, I was really looking at looking at this close, and tell me, Big Will, you probably would know best in this particular title. In this particular book, no, particularly, th that's a key Titans issue, dude. Uh, like, it is, we know like, it's a key, but they've got this like it looks like these little specks of the blue from the Titans. Oh, all the over cover. the cover. Does that happen? Right. Is that something that you have seen before? You see, no right considered a printing like a trademark. Though. Hey, I remember the trademark where you see the red in the blue. Oh yeah. Uh, hey, I I would slab it. Yeah. But so that's only because I'm a long-term spec. Uh, I would definitely put it as a five or ten dollar book. Easy. As yeah. Yeah. Robin uh, quit. Being yeah. Robin there's it, not. Yeah. There's like five or six things that happen that are key in that issue. I'd yeah. say five yeah, bucks, I'd dude. I've seen it. So book. I put it in a ten. I, mean, I, I, I always like to to err on the side of high, so we're gonna go ahead and throw that. I agree with Tim. Yeah, we'll go with Will. We'll go with Will. I, I, yeah, I, I'd second Will's opinion. What do you guys think of this one? This was actually, and I was, I, ha I originally had this in the go ahead and slab it. Holy crap, <laughs> dude! Guardians of the Galaxy on the table there goes for as high as fifty five dollars according to the app. It's the new roster and origin. Yeah. I didn't believe it. Okay, People, so now you have to look them up, man. I'm telling you. This People. is one of the examples yeah, I mean, where we don't where have time now, to look up every single be, one. Should man. this be in the JB auction or man, this would be a great waffle Give prize. That'd be a great I joy. I think that's a solid twenty dollar book, dude. I don't think you're gonna get fifty. Uh -huh. That's just listed, dude. Do you think that's a great waffle prize? Because this is the other yeah, item. Yeah, you gotta look for sold if you're looking this on. This is the other book I'm thinking eBay. about for a sat for the Saturday. That's a good waffle. I don't, I don't think a good it's one too. A waffle. I would try and put it in the fifteen or so because when this thing says fifty five high, that's probably thinking like maybe slabbed. Yeah, I would say that's a good ten dollar book. Put it in a ten dollar. Yeah, I, I put it in the fifteen and then move it to the ten if it doesn't sell. 
I have one from Smurf. Yes, I do. And that is that 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 is not that one. But yes, I do have another one. That's why we're gonna get rid of one. He said put another one. one of those. Thank you very much. From Comic Smurf. <laughs> that too. Seriously. No, I'm seeing somebody in the chat was like, put it away. <laughs> All right. Sorry. So what if, what what do what did we decide on? I'd this? say 15. 15 or 10, dude. 15. Yeah. Let's try it in the And the one on the table. We use your best judgment. Is also now, a key. Now check this one out. First this one, appearance of I the was new really Guardian. I'm going to send this in because it's the first appearance of Taserface and the first appearance oh, of Star. Man. And oh, it is man. a really, 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 really great nine six nine eight candidate type book. This is gorgeous copy. It's, and I put it as a ten dollar book. Bro, it's a cool cover, dude. Cool dude, as hell. Can right? I just buy that from you before the man. pop up shop? Ah, ten bucks. Ah, I'll buy it right now. I'll buy it literally right now. I'll send you the money right now for ten bucks. Uh, I have ten bucks, whatever. Like, uh, like he would buy it yesterday. Part of the show. Remember, Just because no it's, 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 show. it's no got my it's show. got my character in it, Taser Face. It's hey, metaphorical. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, is that what that means? That's wow. a dude. That's a dude why, don't, that why don't you send that book to me? I'm gonna see Taser Face at a con. I'll get him to sign it. No shit. I'll buy it. You get you send it to Big. Oh, you can send it to Big Will. Let's go for that. We'll get your taser face to sign it, dude. And I, I, I love it. Give it to the well. chat, dude. Huh? Give it to the chat, brother. <laughs> yeah, man. Here we go. What about Marvel's 75th anniversary celebration? That's a dollar book. Yeah, I, would, I would say a yeah. dollar, two dollars. Might be more for man. I might think that's like Alex bucks. Ross, so you might can get two or three out of it. Okay, we're gonna throw it's Alex Ross cover, yeah. or maybe two. That's why I, was I think it has some kind of story to it. What actually, about this one, I I probably have to take it out, but just I think I we showed this last night. What number is that? You know what? Hold on, I think I have a copy of this thing slabbed. Actually, that's why I'm gonna let go of this one because I actually bought it. Slabbed. That's cool. It's check. like a ver- uh, You know, while I do that, we'll just go ahead and put everybody back in, so I'm not just showing dead space. Hold on. 15 or 20. Oh, uh, this one right now. That 75th anniversary book apparently has Stan Lee's final published story, which was also his first published story from 1941 in it. And according to this, it goes as high as 15. So I I put it in the 10, and you'll probably have to put it down to five. five. Put it in the 10. If he wants to do a deal, he could just throw it in the five. Yeah. Oh, did he? Did he leave? Yeah, he went stepped away. I was just talking to nobody. <laughs> he stepped away. He'll be right back. But yeah, how you been, Biggie? I've been good, dude. I didn't get to show you before, but I got a little stack of books for tomorrow. I might try to sell. You see, you see my shirt. It says Big Papa on it. It's a cat. Look. Oh, that's dope, dude. It reminds me of you with the chain on. Look. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's Biggie, but, uh, dude. According to this, maybe I don't. Stan Lee's first published story was a two page text in Captain America Comics number three and 41. Stan Lee took that two page story and adapted it 73 years later, and Bruce Tim illustrated the panels, and that's what's in the 75th anniversary book. So he said, oh, how the cover by Alec that, Bob, dude. So you're Try for, it in the $10 your first thing. book. That's right. a one in 100, dude. This one is. Yeah. Oof. Then that's no, no. I th- hold on. Hold on. The story was the guy with the Alex Ross cover. That That's just Amazing Spider-Man 1. 1 in 100. The other one's the story, one, right, Will? Is ASM yeah. one. That's the 1 in 100. The other one is the story. So this one, right. Guy. Alex Ross is just a really cool story in history. Put it in the $10. Let me look up ASM 1 if I can find the price on that variant. Yeah, how gangster is that your first story's Captain America, dude? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Who's having God, an auction dog. tomorrow? Biggie, who's having an auction tomorrow? We got auctions tomorrow? You do. Uh, pop auction, up. I got the pop ups on pop up. That's a that's the pop yeah, up. That's, that's almost its own entity now, man. Sorry. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> this next one is also a Marvel Action Superman issue one. Um Cover C cover C cover. I think that might also be an hold that thing up, dude. I can't see that. Spider Man, right? What are you talking about? Yeah, I think this is what you talking about. 
Marvel action. That, that's a Superman. That's not Superman, dude. I mean, Spider Man. Duh. My, Marvel <laughs> action. Oh, Marvel that's action. How you do that. Jeez. Jesus. And then it's uh, number one, cover C. Oh. Okay. Right, I'm looking it up. Hold on. That's probably like three bucks. Now, this one, you guys, tell me if you've ever seen this before, man. I was going to actually um, try and slab this one, but it was a resounding no. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bake is thrown oh, did you find that in the chat. This ASM is a one in 100. First appearance of the Kindred Virgin variant. Yeah, it's sick. So that if it's a one in 100, I mean, you could, I would put it in like the 10, 15, or slab it. I'd say twenty, dude. Yeah, I would. Even too. one in twenty for twenty bucks. Shit, one in one hundred's got to be twenty. I agree. <laughs> you might waffle that off with the Lobo. That might be a good one, huh? Yeah, that would be Had good. One for the waffle? What about this? Have you guys ever seen? I know there's a bajillion covers of these, right? But this one I had never seen before, and I was actually going to try and slob it, but then there was like a nah. What are you thinking? Hold on, yeah, that's probably a five dollar book. No, that that's less than cover price, probably. Uh, well, that is less than cover. I mean, Ten dollar book. They had like uh, five hundred thousand of those printed, or something crazy. You like don't that. know that that ain't a one in twenty five though. So I, I mean, even if it's a one in one hundred out of five hundred thousand or whatever it Dude, was, that one is a Jim Lee Tour edition, and it, at nine point eight, it sells for one hundred and seventy. You're right, a Jim Lee Tour right. edition. It's Jim Lee dollar book. Dude. Come on. <laughs> There's Jim not a five dollar book. So what at a nine point six, even dude, graded at, at even nine, yeah, even a nine point six, dude, it's been selling for like eighty bucks, dude, like seventy to eighty bucks. Yeah, you might get ten out of that. That's cover well, price. I would, I would say at least ten bucks. At least. Jim Lee. It's, that's a Jim Lee tour edition. Jim Lee so. tour edition. You guys gotta remember that on the show tomorrow if I try and pitch that. <laughs> Jim Lee tour edition. Like, All right, the, I'm not with, 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 with him be, still being alive and you being able to catch him at a con, getting him to sign something like this, dude, would be. You know, like, I'm not sure if anybody watched the epic uh, um, Disco After Dark that we had last night, but man, uh, we had the decision show on what I should and shouldn't send to um, CGC. Now, these are the, some of the books that did not make the cut, but uh, so as Marvel Spotlight on Moon Knight number 28 made it, number 29 did not make it. And I was thinking, what do you think? That would go for. I, I would try for ten because it's Moon Knight. What do you hey, guys think about that? It, it's not his first. It's Probably not early. his second. It's not his first solo. Just try oh. it for like ten bucks. CFAP's already on the Warlock that I pulled back because I wasn't ready. I'm not ready to part with Warlock yet, man. Warlock's going hey, that Moon there. Knight, man. I'm by, I'm getting that. So, man, I'm, is that Spider Man Amazing Spider Man number one? No. This one is Marvel Action Spider-Man issue one cover C by I no Marvel Marvel IDW Marvel IDW. Oh, that's nothing, dude. That's just a Marvel yeah, Action Spider-Man cover C. That's like a three. Marvel Action is like the children's stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah and some of those variants. Yeah, it is. Just ask Bueller about that variant of Marvel Action Spider-Man he sold for seventy-five bucks. It's the IDW one, dude, for sure. Yeah. So what were we saying about this Mar uh, this um, Marvel spotlight on Moon Knight he, number twenty nine? Uh, I think, ten bucks. Yeah, you might be able to get that off for ten. I don't yeah. think that you could. Ten. Probably the ten. All right, what about this one? I I'm gonna go ahead and slab Tomb of uh, Dracula number one to go with the Tomb of Dracula number it. ten that I already have. Slab. Okay. But what do I do with my Tomb of Dracula That's number two? Uh, That's so, probably a ten dollar book. Let's, let's let people ponder on that one. And this was another interesting scenario. I've got this very nice, very nice copy of Hit Monkey, both regular and variant covers. That I was originally going to slab, but it didn't look like every you know people were saying, "Nah, let's not." You wouldn't slab that. Or I'd say the more. regular one's five, and the sketch, the the variant's probably ten. What do you guys think about those? I want to throw that down. See if anybody in the chat's got any uh, comments on any of those. And I'm going to move on. To Dude, something. all right. The you got a black, the black and white. That's the second printing, right? Uh, Wait see. just a second. Grab that white one. Grab the yeah. white. Hit Grab one. the white one and slab that one, dude. 
Second printing variant. Grab the uh, variant. Sketch second on. printing sketch cover by Frank Cho. According to this, it two, gets two, as high as eighty dollars. Yes, it slabbed itself. Yeah, that's probably slabbed. Slab. That makes it a twenty dollar. No, slabbed. Slabbed. It's selling at a nine point eight for like two twenty. Uh, so, man, I uh, remember that variant was kind of expensive. And sell, and sell the first issue one. Yeah, I would sell the first. How much issue is the regular? Raw. I would sell the first issue raw and sell the like the that that black and white printing just sold like literally three days ago for two hundred and twenty dollars at nine point eight. I don't know. This is probably and then, what, and then what, like what nine four go for. It's a white cover for Christ's sake. I'm dude. A nine six went for like sixty dollars. Yeah. No, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, that's a big disparity, dude. It's yeah, not dude, I, nine eight. I'll tell you that. It's a white cover. Last, this was last year though. Around this time though, when that sold at a nine point yeah, six. Yeah. Last year's time. Right, I, I bundle them up for forty cool. bucks, and you can probably sell both of them. Y'all are wild. I was right, dude. Five and ten. <laughs> No. I think you might try for four. Do, do them both for twenty, then. Do them both. Split the difference. Do them both for twenty. All right, hold on. Here we go. Hold on. Or ten, put them, just put them both in a ten dollar box, dude. And no, the black and white is definitely worth more. The, the black and white is worth money. But the other, the other one is up. A, the other one is up for debate. Yeah, so, save yourself some money. You can't slab everything. I would bundle the two for forty bucks. Your two Madracula is probably a ten dollar book. I mean, even the one shot Marvel action Spider Man, I can't find anything on. Dude, it. To, to be honest, even the regular cover, dude, sold at a nine point oh, dude, for a hundred dollars, bro. So I mean, it, both of those are. Yeah, but how long ago, metaphorical? Well, that shit's cooled off, bro. Nine, nine, eight. Yeah. So a couple months ago, not the, not not that long ago, bro. But that's but not a nine. nine eight. Eight. A nine eight of the sketch hit monkey sold on the eighteenth of this month for two hundred and twenty dollars. So, I think you can get forty dollars out of the both of them still. Yeah, but it cost you like thirty bucks to get it graded and yeah. fast track it. Yeah. I so I mean, just just forty bucks for the two. Yeah, I I'd, I'd get, I'd, 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 get a ASM two ninety nine for that, dude. People ain't gonna pay forty for that, dude. Well, like I'm saying, if he buy, if he sells them separately as like, or he has sell them as a bundle, it's really his on him. Huh. All right. Well, you know what? We'll leave those for a little while. What about this? Let's get to some books that were probably just going to be a dollar and power through this box. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Man, we started off the show hot with some stuff. Look at that. I don't know if I've ever gone this deep into a show without having a dollar book yet. Holy moly. Bake says fifty dollars for the two hit monkeys together. Man, should I take that and just say right. gold bake? I mean, come on. <laughs> Comically flawed it is for, but we're we're not saying that that's what the book's going to come back. We're just trying to give you a yeah. reference point. So we will set those aside. Let's get to some other books here. What about this John Burns hit man? Next man number thirteen. Go ahead and say it, man. We, we're ready for some dollars. <laughs> dollar! That's a dollar book, Wait dude. Oh, dollar. When, when was Hellboy's first appearance? Next Men what? It is... Not that one, dude. I know it's it not don't that. look like that. I know that. that. But, but I have more Next Men, so what should I be looking for? What issue of this you am I... You'll know it when you see it. When you see I'll the know cover. I... Yeah, you'll know. Because I, I... That's not what I was asking for. All right. Powers know. Bureau, <laughs> Bendis, and Oming... Number one, I think it's twenty five. Will I'm sorry, that's a that's a dollar book. Okay, fourteen is the other key. Fourteen, 21. 20, 21 is the one. Twenty one yeah. is uh, the big one with Hellboy. Boy, Hellboy. Fourteen is the other key. And ah, thirteen. Look at that. <laughs> All right, isn't Hit Monkey Show can sounds like people getting rid of book before people were. Dude, I don't know. I'm freaking getting rid of everything. <laughs> Thanks, Barry. No, no Lord. Hours. Man, number 17. Just... Dollar. Dollar. What about... Man, this is just screaming dollar. Wait a minute. Maybe not. It's the Ashcan edition of Riot Gear. 
Oh yeah, that, those are five bucks. The ash can. The ash can. See, it says across the bottom there, all ash can edition. Yeah, but it doesn't look yeah. like oh. ash can. It's, ash can. it's a little tiny thing. What the hell is this? Yeah. That's okay. It's still an ash can, dude. It's dude, just bigger. There's bigger ones. Here, I go bucks. three bucks. Yeah, two, two bucks. bucks. Two bucks. Two bucks. smaller, I go five. All right. What about Batman and Robin number fourteen? Dollar. Because green. Because I got another Batman and Robin number eleven. Go right next to it. Hold on. Number fourteen. Is there any keys? Is there any one, keys? twelve Batman. and seventeen are keys. Which one numbers? One, twelve, and seventeen. One. Let me write this down. One. 12 and 17 are keys for this because they're probably going to be what popping cover up. is it? The 14? Uh, I, yeah, that's 11 and 14. Oh, really? All right, it's the fire. Has anybody ever seen this craziness before? Are you ready? Marvel Comics Group presents Dragon Slayer number two. Dragon Slayer. Dragon yeah. Slayer. Or the first one was like a $20 book, but that one's probably like five. Right. Oh, here we go. What about a little Ghost Rider and Blaze Spirits, Spirits of Vengeance number two? Dollar. Dollar. Dollar, dollar. dollar. Here we go. Now we're on a run. Next up, Legion of Superheroes. Dollar. Look. <laughs> I, I love Legion of Superheroes dollar book. He said, I didn't even need that. Once you said yeah, Right. I got now. This is like a name that tune, right? It, uh, dollar Legion of Superheroes again, number 20. That has Lobo on it, at least three dollars. Yeah, a Lobo cover that is a pretty, that is a pretty cool cover. Oh, yeah, I will always on that. Air. What about Image Comics presents Nail Biter number seven? Uh, guest starring, been this? What, what? No, 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 guest starring. How do you guess? Like, what do you mean he's in the book? How do you guest star in the book? Oh, guest star. Michael Bendis. I'd say a couple bucks. He's I like that writer. Two dollars just because it, he's just guest star. I never see anything crazy like that. Now, I think we all agree now. Just make sure that we're all <laughs> comically flawed here. Hey, thanks for stopping in, Adam. I appreciate you. He says everything's 50, <laughs> 50 cents, 50 cents, 50 cents. Here we go. Three for one. Hey, PLC is stopping in. Thank you very much. I appreciate you for stopping in. And I think I'm missing some good. Am I missing some eBay? Am I missing knowledge? I don't want to miss knowledge getting dropped. Remember, you're also saving 14% not selling on eBay. So you can discount your price and still make a profit versus selling on Back eBay. The point. That is what it's all about, right? Trying to save all those little extra points here and there. We said we were going to do $3 on these, right? So this is yep. the Booster Gold. So you're going to go, you get both both books. So both. For, That's a both, two for one. Both books for three Bo bucks. BOGO. You get them both. You get both sides of this one. Here's another one. This one's just Action Comics Convergence. That's got to be worth more than three bucks. Probably not. There it is. Here's another one. Batman and the Outsiders. Batman and the Outsiders in the funky yellow going in the $3 bin. And, of course, you can't have a $3 Convergence without more of the pink ones. How about Come on, man. Ones? More Converge the sh shit out of them. Come yeah. on, man. I would oh, say your goodness. Batman and Robin are two bucks since they're not the keys. More of these are there. How about Green Lantern Core? I'm gonna throw that in the three dollars. If anybody's really interested in any of these convergence books, I can put together one hell of a set. How about Crime Syndicate? And remember, this is cover one of two and two of two. Throw that in there. Hey, Big Will, should I get that branding off your head, man? I didn't even notice that was up there. Eh? Hey, come on. Comically flawed. I said the same thing, man. It looks like they just, they were like, what's the laziest thing we can do on the cover? Let's just fade it. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I want to know one. what that is. Check this out. What do we got here? We got Edge of Venom verse number two. Ooh. Oh, that's dope, dude. Edge that's Alex Ross. That's dude. five and bucks. At least five bucks. Friend. Yeah, it's got Gwen. I got two of those. Gwimple, I got two of them. Oh. Dude, the inside to that, it's hideous, but that cover is fire. Fire, but these Batman and Robins <laughs> down here, these are only a dollar, right? These things. I put them in the two bucks. Two, two bucks. Batman. Two bucks. For what did we say was up with this kids thing? This, this I, I couldn't find anything kids. on it, man. I, I would put it in the ten dollars and see what happens. I'm leave it's it out a two dollar book, and, and I think you're going to win. I'd do I'm that bad. for ten, and it'll probably have to go to five. I'm going immortal. I would say I would say like two three dollars on the Spider-Man book and like five dollars on the 
Yeah. Where's BLC? Yeah, that Gwen Pools holds value. BLC. That's, oh, that's a, that's a $5 book. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, five. Three at least, right? Yeah. That's that's nostalgic. It's a thirty-five cent Bronze Age Defenders, dude. That's give it a little respect, brother. Yeah, put put some respect on it. Put some respect on that. Put some respect on his name. Australia. You know what, man? I just can't. I can't show it this way because it just doesn't give it the respect in this funky old funky bag. When you can see such a difference when you actually. And hey, I'm gonna sell the book anyway, so someone's gonna get the dealy here. The dealy, yo. I'm talking about those videos on my channel. Videos all day, dude. Yeah, he makes videos like nonstop. Man. All right, so how about another one? Another one. Look at this one with the rainbow Ooh, bridge. That's even better. Yeah, that that was even better. I got that. One. Yeah, that's the ring. Got the rainbow bridge in it too, the dude. Rainbow bridge in it. Five Come bucks. On, dude. Five bucks plus. Gotta be five dollars in there. All right, what is this crazy? Oh, it's it's my man. Eat tomorrow. No, it's not. Hey, no, it's not. The edge of Venomverse is selling between three and five on eBay. Yeah. Five? We're going to err on the side of... What do you guys think? Three or five? I'm going to put five. Uh, trust five, dude. I want to try and get at least a couple rounds of five dollars in tomorrow's in tomorrow's pop-up. Well, you know, you never know. It depends, on, it depends on how the... How the I think we're going to see another run of, of dollar books here. How about Image Comics Presents Brigade? Fifty cent, JB. What about this DC Comics, the new fifty-two number one free edition? Well, be... if it's free, no one's gonna pay more than like a dollar or two. The cool I one know. though. Yeah, I mean, some of, the, some of the free comic book day ones are rare, but you know when you see them. Ooh, ooh, all my lard up again. Batman Detective Comics seven ninety two. You always gotta look Ooh. up Batman. Always gotta look up Detect Batman Detective Comics seven ninety two and <laughs> Legion of Dollar eighteen and nineteen Legion of Superheroes. We might be able to put something together there, huh? Legion of Superheroes eighteen and nineteen That's, probably good for a it, dollar. It, the Batman is not a key. No, nope. not a key. Not Two a bucks. key. Yeah. It Two is bucks. not a key. Hey, you know what? I want to take a moment here to. Uh, Shout out the chat, man. We got 32 people watching us live right now. I'd have no idea. If anybody's watching us on Facebook, go ahead and hit me with a thumbs up on Facebook. And hey, if you're if you're checking us out on YouTube, hey, hit me up with a thumbs up there too, man. It don't hurt. Throw down a like. I like it. It'll help the it'll help the algorithm. Right? All right. The next book up is the Brave and the Bold Batman and Wonder Woman number one in a six issue miniseries. Brave Number and the one, dude. That's that's a three dollar book, brother. That'd be a three dollar book, right? I'm throwing it in the three. No, that's a two. Three's over here. Red Hood and the Outlaw. Ooh, check out this cover. Oh, this is cool. But it's not in the greatest condition. But man, look at the Lobo on this cover. Boom. And Starfire. Hey, hey. hey. Starfire. Nice. Boom. Yeah, well, at least really three. <laughs> Gotta be three. I'm hoping so. Next up is Red Hood and the Outlaws, number 32. And look at Starfire just laying out on the car. This has got to be a $5 homage. Dollars for something. <laughs> is that a three homage? Bucks. And I mean, look at Starfire. Oh, my goodness. Damn. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Fire crotch. Oh, Starfire. Man. <laughs> That's what she said. I like, I like Thunder God's comment. I like it. I like it. I said, like do we get a discount? Doing all the work for like you. Like, <laughs> my, my good book. <laughs> oh, come on. Really? That's not what the show's intended to be. This is just a hangout, man. Yeah, just hang, hang out. Hang out, you just hang out with your wing out. Hang out we're going to go over the lineup here, which is absolutely jam packed here. Just in a couple minutes, we're going to go over the lineup. But let's keep it going. Next up is Ultraverse Firearm number four from Malibu Comics. Dollar. Dollar. Battle Time number two of four. Dollar. 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 Ultraverse Origin Dollar. number one of <laughs> Malibu Comics. Number Dollar. one. $2. Will's New Year's Justice number 12. 
Mm, uh, dollar. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. Let's dollar box. I can't remember what we said about the, the God is Dead. I think I'm going to put all these together if I find them all. The adult, eight play, 18 and over. Uh, God is Dead. No, 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 $2, man. I in twos or threes. I don't remember. All right. Next up is uh, the new 52 Futures End number zero special edition free comic book day. Ooh, that might be key. Light that. Yeah. 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 Futures End number Is one. Is there anything right? going on with this detective comics, by the way? Uh, no, no, there was. It's a two I know. Ed, Ed says JP needs hey. a free bin. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, D. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Cool show. Yeah, it's like a hall where you discuss the. Yeah, it's exactly what we're going. We got going on, and we're just you know having a good time with the community, giving everyone a chance to get together and chat with each other. Ooh, I'm glad I left that uh, Detective Comics out because there's another one coming up. How Ooh. about the New Fifty Two Futures and Trinity of Sin, the Phantom Stranger Number One, One Shot. That that's like a dollar. Dollar. Oh, well, did you find that future the end one? It, it's not a key. It's not even listed. So uh, right. dollar. All right. Here's another detective. All my lard up number seven ninety one. I like that cover. It, uh, it's not like it key, neither's the other one. I put them in like two or three dollars a piece because they're detectives. Detectives yeah. and the two or threes. Yeah, Batman's a good strong. Yeah. That's a good strong following. It's like Hulk, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get to some more books. We're making some good time here. Next is M the Multiversity from DC Comics number one. Never heard of this. Uh, I don't think we found out that was the key, didn't we? Multiversity, uh, it's like a two dollar book, oh. maybe. Cosmic Neighborhood Watch. Hmm. Hey, Patrick Wall says, Disco, you will be happy to know from uh, know John from Com John's Comics with Kids uses pull tabs. Of course. That's what I'm talking about. Man, it only takes a second. Which Wait, which cover is that for the that multiversity? Uh, da, 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 I don't know. You know this is uh, cover one, zero, one, 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 one. All right, I just need to see it. Go ahead, you can put it back. All right, two dollars. What about that Batman and Robin bucks. again, number twenty-five? And who's he kicking in the face? They put a sticker right there. Stick it with the others. That's not well, the key. That multiversity is probably like a two-dollar book. That's where I have it. I got it in the twos. Didn't we put the Batman and Robins together in the twos? Yes, we did. What about Hell's Angel, co-starring the X-Men, number one? <laughs> Uh, uh, that's an origin. That's a key book. That's an origin. Book. Inside the origin of Hell's Angel. Who the hell is Hell's Angel? Two or three. It's an origin. It's, a, it's an origin story. Two bucks. Yeah, two or three bucks. yeah that'll work. Two dollar. Two dollar. Dark Hawk number twenty-one. Dark Hawk number twenty-one. That's a dollar book. It's a dollar. Swords no. of the Swashbucklers. Dollar one from Epic <laughs> Comics. <laughs> Yeah, um, dollar. All right, DC Universe Rebirth Batgirl number. Oh, I gotta check my list now because I think it was Batgirl. Gosh darn it! Where's my list? Hold on, I got a list here for uh people. I gotta, I gotta cross reference my list here. Batgirl hey, I, Rebirth. I gotta go for a second. I'll be right back. Batman Rebirth is good, so this will be sold. Batgirl Rebirth number six. Hey, look! I did get my jabroni box. Oh, right. Look. You know what? This is a variant cover too. Who is that? Is that whose signature is that? Uh, I'm going three bucks, man, for the variant cover it alone. It like Lee. All right. Next up is another Bat Girl DC Universe Rebirth number nine. Cross referencing my list, and number nine is for sale. Um, two bucks. That's the cover, all right? Okay. How about? Green Arrow number one quiver three dollars. Three dollars. Are you are you agreeing with all these meta? You're like down with all these selections. You're good. Yep, this? Biggie's Biggie's got You're it down locked. on it. What about free comic book day green lantern special edition? That 
mm, mm, three like, books. Yeah, I would, I would go two or three. It's a free comic book day, though. I know, but those popular character ones, dude, they right. they hold value. I take most people, it. I take most it people out. are like their free comic books, and they throw them away or they like trash hey, them. Thunder so. God, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate you very much. But um, go ahead and tell me what cover you're talking about, because the lag, the lag. By the time it comes up, I'm not sure which book you're talking about. What about Superman? I actually like this cover. Was I keeping this just for some nostalgia? I can't, I can't do that anymore. Superman number eleven variant cover. Some of that Brian Michael Bendis. It's two bucks. It's a variant, Biggie. We go three dollars on variants, don't we? Okay. What about this yeah, one? We do. Uh, Harley Quinn number fifty-eight variant. <coughs> Three bucks, yeah. maybe five. Yeah, maybe. I, I would say five because that was like a twenty dollar book. Once Can I upon squeeze a, time. a nickel out of that book, yeah, I think so. Can I squeeze a nickel out I'll, of that. I'll, I'll go at least Seven five. Eight, my favorite, dude. Yeah. Ooh, what about this Catwoman? Remember this? This art germ, isn't it? Oh yeah, this is some art germ. Oh yeah, dude. Five bucks. Five bucks. bucks. That book used to be all the hot as shit. <laughs> How about I can't even pronounce this Green Lantern movie prequel number one one shot? That might be something I'd lay that down. Lay that down. I don't know. Dude. It looks weird. What about Dark Hawk number eighteen? Oh, that's a dollar, dude. Easy yeah. call. Convergence, the Flash number one. Convergence, the Flash number one. Two bucks. Yeah, thinking two bucks in there. Okay, how about I don't even know what to, I, I don't even Iron Marshall, but I Jademan Comics? I've never heard of this. Iron Marshall, Iron Jade Marshall? Man. What? Watch that be the somebody's Three dollars? Very, watch this be somebody's first published work or something. I'm gonna throw that on the table. <laughs> Some craziness, right? Mm-hmm. All right, first comics uh, presents the PIs number two of three. The PIs number two of three. Oh, dollar, dollar. Come on, man. <laughs> Death of Vigil number six. Got to be a dollar. dollar. That. Death of Vigil number dollar. eight can go right next to it. Yeah. yeah. And then my our friends of the Legion of Superheroes, which you said there was no keys, right? Here's 14 and 15. So we're going to slam all those in the dollar. And let's go ahead and empty the dollar because it's starting to get full as it normally does during this show. And we are sorting books, everybody. I like to thank the 27 people who are still hanging out with us, just chatting it up, man. We're just chilling out, having a good time. Right, sorting books. We're just sorting books. You know, you like to dig through long boxes. That's what we're doing, folks. We're digging through some long boxes. How about Image Comics God Hates Astronauts number five? Very funny cover, but yeah. God Hates Astronauts number five. Two dollars. No way. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a title. Chain Lightning Part 6 of 6, The Flash, 150. That's got to be a dollar. dollar. IDW Judge Dread number 30. But man, the cover is a little Torres, right? Dollar with this tour. All right, there you go. Yeah, Dark Horse Comics presents Killjoys number three. Killjoys number three. Two dollars. Really interesting. How about Justice League Dark number twenty-eight again? All my lard up. Is that a dollar or two dollars? Oh, picking up that one. Hold on. Dollar it is. I think I go two, dude. To my lard. My alarm or two? Yeah, we'll try it. How about the sixth gun? Anyone read any of the sixth gun? Because I've got not only issue 41, but I've got issue 42. I'll put them right next to each other in the dollar bin. Dollar, dollar. Oh, this one comes up so often. And once again, here you go. If you don't already have a copy of this wonderful collaboration between Sam Keith, Jim Lee, and my man Rob Liefeld, Darker Image... Number yeah. one, from that, image that usually goes for like first. five. Hmm? Yeah, I go for five, dude. 
That usually goes for like three to five three because it's got to five? Yeah. That's three first appearances, man. We'll try it. We'll try it, man. What about Arrow number one from Malibu Comics? Mm-hmm. Two bucks. <clears throat> Two. Two? Maybe? Maybe? Bueller? Two dollars. I like Andy. All Star. right. The yeah. Adventures Hipster. of Superman number 524. And remember, these books don't stick at that price because if no one buys them, they go down to the next tier. So. Yeah, they go down the next round. I'll just slide down the next round. No Dollar. worries. The Adventures of Superman. Dollar. 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 The Adventures of Superman number 526. Man, that is a terrible looking face. Based, on, based on what I'm seeing, I think that goes in the dollar. The next one after that one. The sixth. Yeah. Oh, 45. Wasn't these, aren't these yeah. in the 40? Yeah, I'm going to put that there. Mm. Right, hold on. We're almost done. Listen to the end you, of this. You can put Rat Tail in the dollar. Rat Tail on the I table. I think that Marvel action can be a dollar, too, from what I found on it. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a big in the app, yeah, but I, I didn't find it. Dollar, dollar, dollar to two dollars, and then the Rat Tail is a dollar. This thing? Yep. And then I would do I would do the prequel to for two dollars that – that one. There you go. All right. Next up, we've got Frank Miller presents Sin City, number one of six. That should go in like it's a five dollar book. Five dollar book. Ten maybe. I literally yeah. almost bought that yeah. book, dude. Bucks? Like, Three dude. bucks? No, Three? five bucks, dude. No. Come five on, or ten bucks. Man. We're gonna throw dude, that's number one. Dude, you're hot. Dude, all right. I'll buy it right now. Buy it right now. Huh? I'll, I'll no, buy it. No, I'm, tra- I'm talking about uh Whoever's okay. talking about it's like a two dollar book, dude. I'll buy it right now for five bucks. I know. Yeah, like, here we go. Justice worth. League of America number one, Jeff Johns. Five bucks. This is the Indiana one, isn't it? Or Illinois, Indiana? Oh, oh yeah, these are the flags. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, these state flags. flags. That's the yeah, Indiana. Have- that's the Indiana. I think. Yeah, I think I had those in the fives because they had different state flags. That's kind of cool. Please JLA sure. number sixty one. Dollar. Dollar. Five bucks. Five bucks? Number one. Okay. Did you say no, this is 61. 61. You said number one, didn't you? Sorry, 60. Oh. Now this one. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, he said Yeah, okay. this one's number one. That one. That one. Yeah, black is number one. JLA is 61. Black market number one from Boom Studios. Two dollars. Two dollars. Black market number three. Dollar. Dollar Red Hood Outlaw number 21. That's kind of a cool cover, actually. Red Hood Outlaw had some good Dollar. covers, man. I should have read that freaking series. Dollar? Dollar. Yeah. Red Hood Outlaw number 27. Dollar. Dollar. We're going Batman and Robin number 18. $2. Two dollars on that one. I got the other ones over here. Where are they at? Batman and Robin. Yeah, here's 24. Two. And two copies of 19. Dollar. Dollar. Wait, wait, hold on. We might could get away with doing $3 for that one. It's just a nice, clean, simple cover. Batman mm-hmm. and Robin. I like the way you think. I like the way you think. Hey, how about put one in the three dollar and one in the two dollar? Why? When you might get three for both. Because you know, pay one back to the community. That 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 other. Yeah. All right. They get a they get a one they get one a pass on one. All right. What about this Justice League of America number one from the DC Rebirth? Look at this cover. Look at Lobo. Five bucks. I thought we were doing all the Justice League of Americas. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, this is kind of cool. Check this that out. May be a, is that a variant? Check the barcode. Uh, that is not. That's cover A. What did we decide on the Frank Miller? Hey, Z Collects. Thanks for I would say $5. You got to put some respect on that dude's name, man. Come on. All right. $5 it is. Now, check this out. Ready? We're, we're acting like Sin City did bad, like the movie did bad or something. Any rebirth. Let me, uh, hold on. Okay. What's up, uh, DC Rebirth, Justice League of America, number one, two, three, yeah. ah, there's no run, three, and then it goes six, seven, eight, 
seven, eight. Let me guess. Let me. I bet you I can tell you what the keys are. <laughs> the ones that are missing. We'll leave those down there for a second. Yeah, Red Hood and the Outlaw. ones are five, and the other ones are a dollar. Yeah. Red Hood and the Outlaw. Man, this looks like this is a pretty damn good story. I should have read this. You could probably do one through. Red Hood and the Outlaws. I'm going to throw those in the dollar with the rest of them. You can do, do probably do one through three for like ten or fifteen as a like a bundle. Has anybody ever read this? Check out this cover. Number is thirteen paper? is the key, and that's the only one that's listed. So I do like two bucks on all of them together. Mm, there you go. Give them away. Yeah. I'm not mad at it. Not mad at it. Number you. one's more valuable. Yeah. It. That's fine. Has anybody ever seen this one before? This is a absolutely great looking copy of DC's Young Animal Mother Panic. What is this? What number is that? Just panic. Number one. one. And it she also says right. that it's a um, Jody Hauser, Tommy Lee Edwards, Mature Readers. Uh, Anyone ever seen that before? Mm. Oh, that's a Batman. Mother Mary. Panic, Let me look. number one. First appearance of Mother Panic. Yep. A young girl with a financially privileged upbringing and a, by day and a vigilante by night. I would say like five dollars, dude, on that one. What are you saying, Big Will? Never meant. Uh, is that number one? Yeah, and it's the Batman variant. Well, the number one that I oh, I was about to say, well, it must be a variant. Yeah, go for five. It's yeah. a Batman variant. Yeah. Batman variant. If it's, a, if it's a near mint, I would say if it's not, if you look at it and it's not near mint, then knock some like a couple dollars off of it. But if it looks like it's in near mint plus near condition, mint. then five bucks. Night Stalkers, number three. Dollar. 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 Black Axe, number one. Dollar. 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 Legends of NASCAR. Dollar. Star no, yeah. Eclipso, the many faces of evil. Eclipso, number That's two. That's one of the cool covers, two dollars. Number two. Yeah, I'd have to go two dollars on that one, too. Isn't that the 3D cover that, like... The holographic one. We gotta we gotta empty out the twos. Hold on. <laughs> JB, isn't that cover holographic? Uh have, hold on for a second. You mean lenticular? Or lenticular or whatever the hell it is. 3D. Let's take a look. No. No. Two bucks. no. Right. no. Mm -hmm. It's not. Just two bucks then. Two bucks. All right, New Universe DP7 number one. Dollar. Duh. Three bucks. <laughs> Brigade number three. Dollar. Dollar. Yeah. See that book, man. Didn't we see that book earlier? I know, I could have swore I just saw that damn book. Six heroes fight to save the human race in X Mutants number one from Malibu Comics. Dollar. Oh. Oh no, two dollars. It's a number one, right? It is number I, one. It's, but... it's that number one, though. Dollar. <laughs> ah, woo. Ouch. All right, hold on. Ouch. It's probably volume two, but yeah. That's hurt. Right. That hurts. Next. <laughs> Scooby Doo Team Up Special Edition number one, Halloween Comic Fest. Now, some of those Comic Fest and three bucks. Let me look that up. Look that up, man. It could be something. Here's another Scooby Doo team up number one. What am I doing here? Why are these out here? How about Batman and Robin number three? You're making Ooh, money, dude. You're making Ooh. money, kid. Here, number three and number two. Still two bucks. Put them two together. Bucks. Two bucks. Two bucks it is. Okay. Number two, number 12, and number 15, Scooby Doo or something. Gotcha. All right, that's the end of that box. Let's put this box on top. Uh, if, if those aren't them, then I'd go with a dollar, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I agree dollar. with you. We'll swap them into the dollar. You know what? You know what? You know what we're going to do, folks? Well, we're we going to break. Where's the bottom of the hour? And I'm going to be off at the top of the hour. So let's go ahead and swap the camera, which I guess we don't really need to swap the camera, do we? You don't need to see my face when I do the show. You just need to hear my voice, right? Anyway. So let's go ahead and share the screen and check out.
this is the halfway point in the show. By the way, thanks for the 20 people who are still watching us. As we're just kind of, you know, shooting the breeze, kind of just hanging out, doing our thing, doing that, doing that comic book community, hanging out kind of thing that we do that makes uh, makes it fun. And uh, what I'd like to do now is I'm going to break here. We're at the halfway point of the show. And uh, this is where we kind of take a look at what's going on in the comic book community today. So, as you can actually, you know, should I refresh this? Let's go ahead and refresh this one real quick. Let's see what we got going on. Yes, I still left my Disco After Dark up there. I was pretty proud of that episode. Uh, I had a good time last uh, last night. That was a good time. And as you can tell, there was no there was no what's on today. And there won't be a Disco After Dark tonight because Tuesdays and Thursdays is, uh, you know, the family has said, no, we're not going to do that at night. So that Disco After Dark is going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday show. Just, you know, kind of making sure everybody knows what's going on there as you go. If you, if you were thinking, man, JB didn't drop three videos today. No, just this one show today. And you never know. I might, you know, pop in a guest appearance here or there. But here we are checking out my homepage. And if you've ever been to the homepage or if you haven't been to the homepage, if you're checking this on the Rewind, uh, come check out the homepage because the homepage has a couple of playlists uh, that include my top picks. Uh, from the community and also uh, the community's live stream, which is the one I like to keep updated. And this one, I've actually keep updated it all the way out through tomorrow's stuff that I've seen. But we're going to get started right now by uh, telling you what's on today with Discovery Bay. So first up at the top of the hour, over at Kavi's channel, Comic Books NYC is going live with a stream titled The Comic Book Auction Preview for January 22nd, 8 p.m. Eastern. So what's going on? Man, you got DS Comics, Comic Books NYC, Knights of Old, and Bub's Comics are doing an auction. I can only imagine gonna be fire. the fire that is going to be available for this auction. I mean, seriously, folks, we're talking the, the best, the best right here. DS, I mean, I don't even want to go over that. Look at that lineup. I mean, this is just going to be amazing. Woo! I don't know if I can afford that one, but... That's going to be a, a, a preview for that one that's going to be tomorrow, which I love it when people do a preview so you have an idea of what's going on. You can do a little research, right? So now uh, also at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, my man, comic food 2814, hashtag foo is a furry, hashtag comic foo. What's it? What's the other one? Uh, the comic foo crew for life. You know the group. Wait a minute. Biggie Shack, your logo's on here, bro. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Here, dude, my yes. man Kung Fu Grip gave me a advantage, dude. I'm gonna pop that open. I'm gonna hang out a little bit longer with y'all. Go. Advantage? Hey, look, I got a, uh, I got jabronis. You got jabronis box in? Very yeah. nice. I got three packages in, so we may have that. But tonight, also at the same time, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. Come on and check out Comic Food 2814 as he's going live with the next edition of Mystery Men. Wait a minute. It's Mystery Men number one. So this is the debut edition of Mystery Men for this first year. Appearance. See, you know, first first appearance of this season. And uh, we've got Squatchy, Chad, RCG, who is the, the Mystery Box champion, uh, Stevie B., and then the two guests look like we've got Tim, the comic collector, and our man below, right there, the immortal Biggie Shack, who will be joining the stream, and they're going to be opening some mystery boxes tonight. That sounds fantastic. What else yeah. have we got tonight? Well, at 4.30 p.m. Pacific, <laughs> 7.30 p.m. Eastern, over at Burke Family 54 Comics channel, Steve, hashtag forever nasty, is going live with a stream titled Unboxing a Comic Jabroni Mystery Box. Um, and that's, so everyone's getting their Jabroni Mystery Boxes in. This is going to be good. This is great press for the Jabroni, right? We're going to get to check out the, we should do it together. I wonder if I can crash that party. Man, and I might have to try and crash that party. Hey, Steve, if you're you watching try. me, I'm going to have to crash that party. If I'm going to go pick up my Jabroni Box, because uh, I know that's probably what's down at the post office, and uh, maybe we can all do them. Now, at 5 p.m. Pacific, it is back. It is back, folks. Comic Gories is back. Over at the Boy Who Had Seven Talks comic books channel, this is one of my absolute favorite shows. This show actually inspired me to, you know, organize. Because if you've seen the premise of this show, it's it's just fantastic. And you get a, a clock. You're going one-on-one -on -one against somebody. You've got a clock. you got to find something in your collection to put up against them. In this, in this period of time, it's nerve-wracking. The chat gets to vote on it. And uh, it's just an, a fantastic concept and a, a terrific execution by both Matt and John of the Boy Who Had Seven. 
and I will definitely be popping in and checking out the yeah. next edition of Commodore Season 2. And that one is special because it's John's Comics with Kids versus The Boy Who Had Seven. There was some scheduling oh, conflicts. Oh. He had to cancel the normal one. So Ooh. we're doing that one as a special tonight. Wow. There you go. There you go. That's Hope just nice for everybody it. right there. Now, 5 o'clock hour is a hopping hour because remember, not just tonight, but every night at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, our man right there, Metaphorical, is going live. Now, on his normal Tuesday night rotation, we've got the new Comic Book Day Hot Top Comics This Week show. And this is just another opportunity to hang out with the man, hang out with everybody who's in the community. You know, maybe you don't want to watch an auction. Maybe you just want to hang out and chat. This is the place to do it. Come check it out. Yeah, Dylan. Now, Dylan's going, Dylan should be there later. Oh, Dylan, yeah, you can cannot go wrong with Dylan. Now you know what's coming up next, and I know I didn't delete it because this is absolutely one of my favorites. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Head on over and check out Rod over at Just a Rican and his comics channel for the next edition of Buy or Pass. You know the one. This is where Rod the Rican, Edwin the Comic Jabroni, and Perry the Swamp Jacket. No, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> not even gonna go. Perry, my man, Perry Comics. These guys uh, talk about what they're buying or passing for tomorrow's new comic book day. And you know what they say? These guys know a thing or two. Because they've read, read a thing or two. That's right. Check them out tonight. Now, at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, this is something special, folks. And I, you're going to definitely want to pop in. Take a moment at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, and check out J. Hood Creative as he's going live with the next edition of Issue at Hand, Wiz Comics number 25, with the great legend himself. That's right. Our Dowdy Jr. is Going live as a guest tonight with Jay Hood Creative, and you're not going to want to miss it because you know he's going to have some hot takes, right? Come on, Biggie. Let you know he's dropping the truth. Right, what else dude. have we got tonight? At 6.30 p.m. Pacific, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, over at the Comic Book Wars episode, uh, Comic Book Wars YouTube channel, we've got the 36th edition of the Comic Book Wars podcast. No real title. Oh, man, Jimmy, give me a good title now. All right, next up at 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern, over at Fantastic Comics Channel. What is Fantastic Comics, JB? Well, check them out tonight, and you'll know. There is a local comic book store right here in the Bay Area, and these guys broadcast live on Tuesday nights with a stream titled This Whole Everything, number 1,000, rebranding. Wait a minute, you ain't even at 1,000. You got to check your number, man. What is this, Marvel Comics? Jeez. <laughs> All right, well, that is the lineup because I'm not going live. I'm sure there'll be a couple other things in there. And actually, if you are in the stream right now and there's something that is about to drop tonight that wasn't already posted, go ahead and hit me up in the chat and we will highlight it so we can share it with anybody watching us on New the New York morning. Warriors auction. Is that still going on? Yeah. Tuesday night, home of the New York Warriors auction. Warriors! Oh, Warriors! Hell yeah, they should be doing an auction. And since you know we're going to be there. And maybe I'll spend some money tonight. We don't know. We'll check it out. Yeah, you, you, you spent some money last night. Couldn't you're, you're gonna be in the garage. Successfully spend some money. I was trying. You know, when you when you get beat out on the books, or you're looking in the when they say, okay, the opening bid's five, and then the first person comes in 25 and it goes to 50 before you can even type in 10. You're like, eh. Ah, I didn't want that book anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Okay. Totally. All right, there it is. Comically flawed says. Unless I missed it, you missed the New York Warriors auction at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. We just plugged them. Right. I know, man. But Adam was there. He was all over it. The chat is all over it. And I'd like to thank the 18 people who are still joining me. Hey, we're going to go for another 20 minutes. So we're going to blow through this second short box. And this is uh, what we got next. Let me grab a stack of books. Grabbing a stack of yeah. books. You said don't try to. Try, don't I'm going to take this opportunity. I'm going to take this opportunity to bounce out, dude. I got to start getting ready for the comic food, man. Boom. Thanks All a right, lot, big man. Thanks Wish for dropping by. Man. You're oh, the best. Yeah. yeah. Wish me luck, boys. 
I'll be, I'll be checking you, it out. Won't, you won't need Good it, luck. man. <laughs> Grand prize winner tonight, okay. Biggie. <laughs> nice. All right, we're going to go ahead and swap the camera out back over here. Um, and here we're going to go back to this view. And what do we have next? We have got ourselves Doctor Strange number 36. Doctor Strange number 36. Is that a tie in to Infinity Gauntlet? Infinity Gauntlet epilogue. Yes, it is actually. Try, it, try it for $5 then. Put that aside, man. I don't know. How about Wolverine versus Blade number one? Man, that one shot's pretty popular. It is, isn't it? Five dollars, man. Yeah, you agree with that, that man? I mean, that's. I, I'll, I'll go with that. So actually, it's a six-dollar cover price. Maybe I only lose a dollar. That sounds good. It, it was actually pretty, uh, it was bumping when it came out. How out. about this one? Weapon Plus, number one. Another one shot. Mm, that's a, that, that could go like two or three dollars. Yeah, I'll go with three. See what happens. Yeah, I'll go with three, probably. Three dollars it is. War of the Realms Giant Man, number one. Uh, mm. uh that's what I said. Is that <laughs> Alex Ross? It could so, be. Yeah. That would help. <laughs> it actually kind of like a little bit on, oh, you know, in the face. I, I, it does, I can't tell. We're going to put it down here. Maybe someone can look that up for me. How about War of the Realms? Number one. Yeah, straight up. Number one. Is this cover A? This is straight up cover A. War of the Realms, number one. Three, $3? I don't know. It's new. Oh, hold on, is that War of the Realms? Hold on a second. Let me look at that. Oh, man. Oh, no. I can see where we're going here. <laughs> okay, here's another one. War of the Realms number one variant. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if she's still hot like she was for Ragnarok. Or I think it's died. Hold on a second, though. I'm looking. Looks like Crane on the Wolvie Blade. I wonder if that is Crane on the Wolvie that's in the fives though. all right giant man <laughs> that giant man i would say is like a five dollar book the other one let me look at the water rooms i'm looking them up now ouch this one right here yep that one is right there hey you can always move it down if it doesn't sell it says it's selling right now for like retail right like right now four or five bucks so all right all right all right War of the Realms Journey into Mystery number two. I think oh. you might want to get you a pile going over. Uh, Hold on, I'm looking up to the different variants. That's, that's, that's the last one. That's the last one. Do you guys remember this cover? What was up with this cover? And why do I have so many of these damn things? Tony Stark Iron Man number seven. Is there a key in this? Could I get lucky enough that there's a key? I mean, it's a I'll really check. awesome cover. Look at that with the, the face, and it, it, he's got the, the helmets popping up. I mean, it's just a really, really wicked cover, but why don't I have so many of those? Is it straight cover by? Is it a low price? you say it's buy? number one? No, it's number seven. It's not oh, a key. Not even a key. Man, you know who this reminds me of right now? I'm thinking of CFAP when I see this book. Team America number 11. I don't know why. Sorry, CFAP, if you're, don't be offended by that. But <laughs> All right, word of Rome. Probably two dollars, two or three dollars. And I was playing Team America, two dollars. Team America, two dollars. It is the other, the other variant. I would do it like three to five based on your judgment. This one, mm -mm. this one, yeah, those two. One, th the variant, so the one with the Thor sister or whatever on it, I would do in three to five, and the other one in two, one, like two dollars, probably. Yeah, I go with, I go with that. All right, what about Robocop number eight? Dollar. Dollar. Power Man and Iron Fist number 85. That one I would go in at least two dollars. Eh, I would probably maybe push 102. Yeah, might as well put it two dollars. I will put if they're 60 cents, two to three dollars because the unleash number three. Yeah, two, two bucks. Joey Baker Simmons, yeah, the, the War Realms is five to ten. 
near mint that the death one is like i'm saying the the better variant the other one is you can still find for ch for cheaper so god that thing like probably cost me eight brand new i'm gonna move that over there i'm listening to joey mags you can go like i'm saying that variant is the one that is the hybrid one all right micronauts number 35 dollar, dollar. dollar. Just, wait, you said no, no. Micronauts number 35, right? You can keep Micronauts going. number 35. Come on, there can't be a key in Micronauts. What about this Annihilation Conquest Prologue number one? Annihilation Conquest Prologue number one. That's what about Team America? October. I know, man. Three books. I know, I know. Three books. Do you think right. that Hey, do you think that Micronauts is a 9.8? Hell to the no. All right. <laughs> Leave it where it's at. Then like three dollars, two or three dollars. Why? Just is it just a it where it's at. It, it's like a two dollar book, like it's, roughly. It's a dollar book now. What about International <laughs> Iron Man number one? International Iron Man number one. Is that a key for some reason? I don't know. Find out. What's up with the Iron Man? Okay, what about this Infinity? I think there's going to be a run of these. Hold on. I think I got a bunch of these. Do I? Do I have a bunch of these? Yeah, it's not even listed. I got about two or $3 book on Iron Man. This one? The that International Iron Man is like two or $3 book. Two bucks. Yeah, two or $3. Oblivion yeah. Song number eight. Uh, mm, that one I'd go on. probably three. Number three. one, number one is the one that you want to look for. But I would Who's say two, two. Man, two saying five on annihilation. Oh, I, got annihilation. I, I had said three, so just move it up one. Yeah, just move it up one. And the uh, the Iron Man and triplicate down there. I'd put those in uh, if it's a really cool cover. Two bucks. If it's a hot cover, three to five. You go to three. Yeah, I can second that. Which one? This one? Yep. Yeah, all of them. Those are those Stanley Memorial covers, right? Yeah, th three or five dollars. Yeah, three, yeah. All right. How about die, 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 number four? Die, two, die, die. Two dollars. Yeah, so, really? Dollar, but okay. I how mean, about, go ahead. Huh? Sorry. How about the girl in the bay, number four of four? That one's definitely a dollar. There yep. you. Okay, Guardians of the Galaxy, number one variant. Check out which variant. I got a couple of these. Check out all these different variants. There's two different variants. Tell me if one of those is a ratio variant or worth anything. Guardians of the Galaxy, number one. Yes. Yeah. Really How about there. Doctor Strange, forty center? Let me know what you find, Will. That one, Dr. Strange, you said, what's the number? 36. 36 and 59 are, is what I got coming up here. All right, 36, which is... 36, one. 59, and 78. One who's standing on top of the bus hold on, is, or whatever that is, is like a $5, $10 book. This one's a wraparound? The one that says Thunder of the Soul at the bottom? That one's like a... Like a this one's a wraparound, he says. Yeah. Another book. The, the Guardian's number one. That one, yeah. That one right there is like a $10 book, yeah. Really? Yep. Uh, the Guardian's number one. Uh, they're, they're variants that I don't see on here, but the number one is a key. It's the first it's appearance of the two guardians. What about these two? Hold on. What numbers are those? I got a uh, six, uh, 59 and 78. 59 and 78. Drew saying one in 10 here. I keep that. He says 10 bucks. Go for it. 10 bucks on the one in 10? Yeah, I mean. Worst oh, case, you move it down. <laughs> that other there you go. 59, Dr. Strange, to like three. Uh, 
put put the other guardians in the five. See what happens. That, the the guardian Doctor Strange number fifty nine is three. What was the other one? Is sixty what? You know, I don't think people are going to pay up for Doctor Strange books. I mean, he he does have a new movie coming out, so. Yeah, but still, it's two. Seventy-eight. Yeah. Look at that one up. I'm gonna pull these threes. Full. Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight is like three to five. It's your judgment, though. That one's selling, like I'm saying, recently for like eighty bucks, ninety bucks. So like three to five for seventy-eight. Oh yeah, we got some inventory there. Three to five for seventy-eight. Okay, what about Doctor Strange: The Oath Number One? The Oath Number One. That's a very famous and popular story for Doctor Strange. I believe the Oath. So oh, it's a Halloween comic fest thing. I would I would do it for five bucks. I'll, I'll listen to you. To empty the files. Yeah, remember, folks, that these aren't permanent like tears. Not at all. These aren't final sales. It's not like everything that doesn't sell in five will be three in the next show. <laughs> so, <laughs> what about either of these two? If this you feel kind of a cool one, check that one out. Numbers twelve on this one and twenty-one. If you if you feel they're overpriced, the market is going to set the price. Absolutely, let us know. The other I, a dollar them myself. Yeah, I, I could go with that because those I looked those up. Those aren't keys. Those other ones are just because of the age. In All right, how about what do we got here? I think we got a couple of these. So, Infinity War, Fallen Guard, Infinity Wars, Fallen Guardian number one looks like a. I don't know if this is B, but it's one of the variants. Here's another variant of it. The Infinity Wars number one is d worth having the rest yeah, of it. Fallen Guardian. Infinity Wars Fallen Guardian number ones. All ver uh, regular and variant variant. Right. I got some Hulk. Oh, no. I'd, go, I'd go a dollar on the... Well, you know what? Go $2 on all of them. Cause I, don't, I can't even find them for... I can't find them for like... We do variants at three bucks, don't we? Yeah, but I mean, since it has so many variants, what about when it's missing a chunk out of it? One eighty nine. <laughs> One dollar since you don't have fifty cent bins. Nice two oh two. Uh, two bucks. Two bucks. That's a a, a classic. Incredible Hulk versus Quasimodo. Dollar. I don't know, man. It's a hunchback, man. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, it's Quasimodo. Come on, man. Check this out. I had three of these. So here's I got two of these to get rid of. History of the Marvel Universe, number three. Dollar. dollar it just dollar. came out. It's a five dollar book. Well, not my fault you bought it. Yeah. <laughs> what about this? Cold How blooded. Number Twenty-five. It's not a key, so two two bucks. It's Howard two bucks. That's what I'm saying. Some of these you are you gonna you gotta go off of popularity and demand. So what about this? It's got a ten dollar price tag on it, but Carnage number three. That's a sweet cover. I'd go two three bucks on that. Yeah, two three bucks. Pretty sweet cover, man. Why do I have three of these free previews? Free previews. All dollars. All easy, right. easy. Limits here, yeah. here we got a couple minutes left. Let's try and get a couple more through here. Hey, yeah, it is a little run on that carnage, but you, sometimes you guys are going to get deals, man. Absolute carnage yeah. stream variant. The number one. The number one. Two bucks. Three bucks. It's a variant. Uh, Love for uh, yeah. a brand new variant. I go three to five on that one. Yeah, easy. Carnage, Immortal Hulk. Number one, two. Number one. 
three to five, yeah. Okay. Five. You can't lose. Like, those are still hot. Dude, you're talking about Carnage and Hulk character combined in one book. Come on. Black Widow number one. Black <laughs> Widow number one. Two bucks. Yeah, two bucks. Two bucks. <laughs> All right, man. How many black cats are there? Here's here's another version of the black cat. This is the what the hell is this? The ninth printing. Is that what that means? <laughs> of number one? Is that something special? This is a variant. The third variant of the ninth printing. Is that what that means? Oh my goodness! They print that thing nine times. I don't think. I think the highest they go is like three. What about? Or oh no! So that would be the thirty ninth cover. Could there be a thirty nine black cat number one covers? Oh, yes, yeah, that's easily doable. What about this one? I remember this one, the variant. Uh, this Wonder Woman. That's a nice cover. Yeah, that is a sweet cover. Uh, two bucks, maybe three. It's gotta be at least three. It's a variant. Yeah, Black Cat, I'd put it for three. Yeah, I'm still looking for it, so I haven't found it yet. And then I got another one of these. That one's the standard, so it's like two, three bucks. Week 52. Okay, I think there was a key fact. Yeah, first appearance and cameo of a Bat Family character. 52 week 9. 52 week 9. There was some low-level Bat character. Three bucks. Dollar. Dollar. Okay. That black week. hat, you could go with in like two or three bucks. Three bucks. Come on, man. Like I'm saying, use your judgment. Right. Signed by somebody. Oh, this is signed by somebody. Signed. Who signed. is somebody? Oh, yeah, man. who is somebody? Because oh. it could have been Mark Wade, George Perez, or Bob. That's George oh. Perez's signature. I, I think oh, I, I sent you that one, dude. Did you really? Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure I sent you that yeah. one. <laughs> that was definitely I. That's I got a Mignola it. cover. My video. I want to sell that for like ten bucks. I'm not selling it. I just got it from Meta. No, I mean, I, I, I made no, a video. The one on the table that you're about to show us. Yeah, the this? one. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, special Batgirl number one. It's got ticks though. It's got like six spine ticks on it. Well, if you're not comfortable with ten, put it in the five. Five bucks. It is. Robin number two. Robin to the Joker's Wild number one with the little hologram card on the cover. Those are actually like around is two. That, if you is got that, that Jim Keith, th those books are actually decent. But the, the ones, four, Chuck Dixon, Tom Love, Bob Smith, I don't know. The ones you want are those are either the collector's edition or the ones with the Joker covers. They have like they have ones with Joker on the cover, but though even that one's hot because it's got Batman on it. So. See what happens. Yeah, I would, I would do two or three bucks on those. Uh, Catwoman number one, but spine ticked. Dollar, two bucks. No, that's, man, that's, that's the old. that's the nineties number. Yeah, that's the nineties number one, dude. Three yeah, three five bucks. Teen Titans annual number one. Mm. Yeah, dollar. Yeah, dollar. I agree. Hey, thanks for stopping in, Spear Here reviews. Yeah, man. Thanks for everybody who came through. Yeah, what time we got? Now we're gonna have to wrap. You know what? We'll save the rest for next time. We got about a half a box left. I definitely got a couple of uh, couple of shows of inventory ready to go. And the reason I am excited about that is because next Thursday in this time slot, so tomorrow at two thirty p.m. Pacific, five thirty p.m. Eastern, right here, we're gonna do a pop up shop with all the sh all the books you just saw today. And yes. that's where I'm offering those up at one dollar, two dollar, three dollar, five dollar increments. Uh, if I got enough in a $10 round, we'll do a $10 round. Maybe we even do a $15 round. Depends on if I have enough books. But join us for that tomorrow on Wednesday. And then Thursday, instead of doing another sorting show in this same time slot, we are going to do, Meta and I are going to do our, what do we call it? The Community Content Creators Club. Creator Show. And this will be on Meta's channel in this time slot. So at 2.35 or 2.30 p.m. Uh, Pacific, 5.30 p.m. Eastern on Thursday, we're going to be in Meta's channel doing the community comic content creators show. And that's what we're going to go over the different platforms that we're using, you know, where we're getting our graphics, 
what we're, uh, you know, what applications are available for free or if you want to spend a little money. And we're just going to go over that kind of a, an open uh, chat session with members of the community who are interested in, you know, knowing what we're doing because we're, we're interested in sharing that information. Yeah, man. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, Big Will, you got anything you want to plug real quick before we go? Man, in, unless I'm on someone else's channel, I plan on doing Jack until like Monday or so. There you go. I'm on a rest. I got to pack up everything tomorrow and Thursday. I'm shipping everything from the auction out. That's there you go. Oh, that that was it was an awesome auction, man. It was literally like being at the horse races. It was probably one of the most fun ones that I've been in because of like the way that people would bid and you never knew who was going to win. Like usually, usually you know who's going to win lots like pretty early. And this was one of the only ones that I've been to where like it was just exciting watching it as it was like bidding. So... Heads off to you, Will. That was a pretty awesome show, man. Yeah, it's it's a great concept. Good stuff for sure. Well, uh, I want to thank everyone for joining me today. Then we're going to wrap up our show. Um, that's it for me today. I won't be on YouTube for the rest of the day. I don't think. Uh, I will be back tomorrow with the three show uh, lineup of what's on today in the morning. We're going to do the pop up shop show tomorrow at two thirty five p.m. Pacific, five thirty five p.m. Eastern, and then Disco After Tark returns for new comic book day edition. Where we'll be talking about all the stuff that I got on my new comic book day poll. So hope to join you. Uh, hope you join me tomorrow for any of those three shows. And as always, don't forget we had fun. We had a good time. Doing a lot of doobie rolling. <laughs> 